Alright YouTube, we're back for another video today. Today we're doing baby back ribs. I'm going to cook them on the uh, 22 inch Weber kettle with uh, Frontier Lump and Kingsford uh, briquettes to get it started. And we're going to throw some post oak chunks into it today. <clears throat> the ribs have already been sitting and sweating for probably almost half an hour. I'm waiting for the kettle to come up. But we're going to after when we get ready to after we cook them, let me just back up here a little bit. So we season them with this new Blues Hog, new to me, dry rub seasoning. It's got um, almost like a little cinnamon, savory, a uh, little bite to it. I think it's really going to be good. So that's what's been sweating on these ribs now. When we finish, we're going to top them off with Blues Hogs original barbecue sauce. Um, but when we before we wrap, or when we wrap, I'm going to use this Heath Rowles butter bath and wrap again. Uh, last time I did it, I did with a, um, uh, I believe it was a, um, you know, I can't remember, I believe it was the, uh, the turkey breast on a rotisserie that I used that with a wine to dilute this but now I'm going to use uh, today I'm going to use a uh, apple juice so we will see how this goes uh, waiting for the Weber to heat up right now and uh, we'll uh, bring you back when we get the ribs onto the kettle stay tuned where are you tube I got those temperatures dialed down on the Weber Go ahead and get these ribs on here and we'll try and do it without a uh, the heat stock, the top stop. I got a um, do have a um, chunk of cherry sitting here in case I need to put a heat wall up against that uh, that heat. I'll try and keep it off these ribs a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. I've got the temperatures down dialed down pretty good. So we're just putting them on. Um, they've been sweating for about I don't know maybe half probably 40 minutes now uh, got post oak on the wood to smoke them I'm running right now about 300 degrees I'm sure it's gonna go up again uh, so that's about it we'll get these things smoking and uh, we'll get back to you um, as soon as I have a little bit of progress to show thank you YouTube all right YouTube so while we're waiting for that I'm gonna go ahead and get my heat brow stuff together I said it was Heath Rawls um, butter bath or wrap. So on the directions, it's calling for one quarter of a cup of this Heath Rawls butter bath. And this one bag does eight racks of ribs, I do believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this one bag will actually do eight racks of ribs. So, um,. This is the second time I've used it. Got a good ways to go yet. So we're just going to go ahead and get this mixed up while we're waiting for things. So a quarter cup of the butter bath and wrap. And three quarters of a cup of um, apple juice. You can use any juice. Um, well, they say, you can, really, you can use any juice. I use wine. One of the instructions are calling for um, uh, water, apple juice. I used wine the first time. I'm just going to get this mixed up so that I can um, get the refrigerator let it set a little bit. I don't really know that that, what that will do with anything, but and I do apologize for all the background noise. I hope you can even see this, but get down here a little bit further. Mix it in, put it in the refrigerator, and wait to pour it into our rib wrap. And um, it'll all be ready for us. I really enjoyed it the first time I used it, but um, that was with the wine, as I said already. But we'll get 
get this mixed up and we'll bring you back later. All right, YouTube, it's been about an hour and, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And I did probe it a little while ago, so we're not ready, but I just want to take a look at them. We're set, but I'm not ready to wrap yet. So we'll let them go a little bit longer, and then we'll bring you back. All right, YouTube, it's been about two and a half hours. Just throw some coals in there. I think I'm gonna bring these inside and uh, wrap them up. I spritzed them, I think twice now, with 50% uh, water, 50%, I'm sorry, not water, 50% uh, apple juice, 50% apple cider vinegar, and just about a, maybe an ounce or two of honey. And uh, we're gonna bring them inside and wrap them up, and uh, we'll bring you back. All right, YouTube, we got them inside. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this apple juice, uh, apple cider vinegar, and honey mixture down. I am gonna put a little bit of this Heath Riles pecan rub on the bottom before I wrap them up. Just gonna flip them over. here gonna be fun. This is my uh, Heath Riles butter bath uh, and wrap mixture I made earlier. I'm just going to apply to the top of these. I have the ribs and the foil sitting in a sheet pan uh, so that I don't lose uh, all my juices there. Gonna bring the ends up. Hold that over. Bring this over. Bring that in over. and uh, get them back on the grill. So we'll uh, bring you back once they start probing, you know, in a 200s, 203, 205. We'll see you later. All right, YouTube, they're off. Pulled them out about 203 degrees. Get these things flipped over. I already put some sauce on my cutting board here. So I don't lose my, uh, the top of my ribs. Mama's inside chomping that bit. Where's dinner? So, you get a bite here. And then, um, You can see that YouTube. I'd zoom it in, but I don't want to touch the camera. Looks pretty moist to me. Oh, heck yeah. Nice bite. Plenty moist. Lots of flavor. All right, YouTube, let me um, finish getting these cut off, cut up, and get them into Mrs. Sleeper. And uh, we'll be back for the recap. 
Alright YouTube, we're back. We'll do the recap. So the ribs are really good. Probably weren't really the best quality or they were meaty, but um they were um I don't know, they they had some fat in them, but they're really good. The wife and I ate half the rack. Um great flavor. Just wasn't the best piece of meat, but they were still good. I actually uh, looking forward to the leftovers on them. Uh, the wife made some potato salad. I chowed that down real quick and got back out here. Another Sunday madhouse for me. So, to recap, what we did is we uh, had a uh, rack of baby rack ribs. Hormel was the brand. And I cooked them on my 22-inch uh, Weber kettle with um, Kingsford charcoal as a starter. Some frontier lump to keep it burning, and I ended up throwing about four small chunks of uh, post oak throughout the cook. Um, let them cook for about, I think it was like almost three hours before I wrapped them, and then um, we wrapped them with this uh, Heath Rouse butter bath and wrap dilute it with a uh, apple juice really good stuff of course we started off with the uh, blues hogs uh, dry rub seasoning which was the first time I've tried that uh, it's you know from what I could tell it was good I sort of kind of got a last-minute decision and decided when I went to go wrap them that I was gonna throw some of this he uh, Heath Riles pecan rub uh, in my wrap along with the uh, butter wrap and um, I think this sort of kind of overpowered that blues hogs dry rub wrap but I like this stuff this pecan rub some good stuff and he growls the butter wrap you know it's the second time I've used it I'm really enjoying it um, I can't honestly say that I see a difference between you know putting pats of butter in your, in your wrap um, other than the fact that those ribs were really moist, so that's a big plus uh, as far as I'm concerned. As far as flavor-wise, I didn't really pick it up um, as being you know, more buttery than if I just used pats of butter in there and let it uh, you know, cook in with the wrap. Um, after it, it, I guess it was like, I want to say three and a half hours to cook, um, I started losing daylight, so of course it's getting cold, so I put them a little close, closer to the coals and brought them up to about, I don't know, I think it was like one, 167, 165, something like that, uh, before I wrapped them. I can't really remember for sure, to be honest with you, everything's running together on me right now because I'm in a rush, but um, we let them wrap, we kept them in there. Um, couple more hours I think it was a five and a half hour cook overall uh, they were probing at 203 I uh, unwrapped them uh, set them back on the grill and then I used this blue hogs original um, to uh, barbecue them with but before I did that I actually put in my little lodge pan and heated the sauce up before I put them onto the ribs um, Darren from Ash Chicken Barbecue told me that little secret, and um, I think it works good. You get more of a glossy uh, finish on your sauce, and um, it sort of makes it stickier, if that makes sense, but uh, it's good stuff. So there you have it, YouTube. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll have some more cooks coming up in the near future. I think next weekend, I gotta check the calendars, but I think next weekend is the week that I do the, um, the Celebrate on Stuffed Tam. If not, it'll be the following week. I don't even know what day of the week, what, what the date of the day is. So, um, I think I've covered everything. Other than the fact, I did struggle with trying to keep the temperatures uh, stabilized on my kettle. I put too many coals in there. Uh, charcoal in there to begin with uh, and then I had to let that die down and, and then try to maintain the temperatures and of course it being chilly outside you know they kept going up and down on me and I had to keep feeding it but I makes it a fun cook as far as I'm concerned um, 
more of a challenging cook when you're cooking on the uh, on a charcoal uh, grill uh, indirectly than it is uh, in a pellet grill. I'm not knocking pellet grills, but pellet grills, you plug them in, set a temperature, push a button, um, and let it do the work. I mean, you still got to watch them every once in a while, but um, you're just spritzing every 30, 40 minutes with the uh, apple juice and apple vinegar and, and honey. Um, yeah, I think they dry out a little bit more on a charcoal grill, but or try to dry out. But I'm going to stop rambling because I'm trying to keep my videos down as far as time-wise. Um, YouTube, thanks again for watching. This is Lance Sleeper Barbecue from St. Mary's County, Maryland. Uh, should you not tune in uh, before Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas to you and your families, and um, uh, we'll see you next year, maybe, if you don't tune in for the stuff Cam video. Thanks again.